I have a flower that will match your outfit perfectly. Just nod and play along. I have a secret message from Da Vinci. The flower you see here is called... I'm an undercover resistance spy. They call me the Black Crow. Listen up. Lately, the Archeum Legion has been searching desperately for a mana stone known as the Golem's Heart. That's right! The Golem's Heart is a powerful mana stone. It is said to have the power to control giant golems capable of destroying fortress walls. Oh, is that so? The Archeum Legion plans to make a secret weapon with that power. We have to find the Golem's Heart first, before they get their hands on it. How do you like it? For now, go meet Henderson in the Vienta Vineyard. He knows a great deal about the Golem's Heart. Thank you very much! Da Vinci says you are the right person for this mission. Good luck. Was it a descent? What is it? Sorry, but no performances for the time being. Golem's Heart. The name rings a bell, but I can't remember what it refers to. Before I became a bard, I hit my head hard during a resistance mission and began to lose my memory. In order to remember everything, I wrote a song about my adventures. Everyone called it the Song of the Vienta Dwarves. Worst part is I ended up forgetting the lyrics. I lost my sheet music, and I can't even perform now. If I knew anything about this golem's heart you speak of, it definitely would have been contained in the lyrics. I'm sorry I can't help you. Hmm. Oh, oh no! Uh, there was a guy named... Uh, what was it? Car... Oh, Carbonet! He came and sang along at every concert. He might have memorized the lyrics. <sighs> I heard people saw him around the desert black market. Uh, please, find out the lyrics for me. If you do, I'll help you out any way I can. What do you want? That song. I was a regular at Henderson's shows. Went there a lot with the love of my life, Caramilla. Oh, please, don't ask me any more about that. It just makes me think of my love. You abandoned me. It's okay. She left because I'm not good enough for her. I can't even get her a single, just a plantia that she really wanted. Alas. You really don't know what it is? It's a gift for confessing love. Getting the materials is really dangerous, but that just goes to show the extent of your love. You need desert flower roots and cobra wings to make it. You can hunt them in the monolith wastelands. But that's out of the question for a coward like me. <laughs> really? You do that for me? <laughs>
Oh my, you really got them. Thank you so much. I must officially confess my love to Caramilla immediately. Oh, yes. What song of Henderson's were you curious about? Ah, that's an old hit from back in the day. It began like this. Let's drink it up. Let's drink it all. Um, three, one, two, or was it four? Oh, I don't remember. Oh, if only those bandits hadn't stolen my scarf. A couple years ago, I was touched by one of Henderson's performances. That night, I wrote the lyrics on a long silk scarf. It looked exquisite, so I wore it everywhere. But only a few days ago, I was walking the desert, lost in the sorrows of my heartbreak, when I ran into some sand flame bandits. They took everything I had, including the scarf. In short, they're desert outlaws. Bandits who loot from and kill anyone they encounter in the desert, whether merchant or adventurer. I barely survived by playing dead. Seeing that you've hunted terrifying monsters, you must be a skilled fighter. If you punish those sand flame bandits and find the scarf, I'll happily give it to you. Did you learn the lyrics, my friend? Oh, that's it! <laughs> now I remember! The column's heart you mentioned probably refers to the stone fragments I hid away at Sienna's request. We took control of the golem using the golem's heart and reclaimed Stone Guard Castle. But leaving that powerful object intact worried us. Sienna divided the stone into three fragments and asked me to hide them. I placed them around the abandoned stonemason town. Come to think of it, you need a special magic solution to get the stone fragments. Lure and kill monsters in the abandoned stonemason town with sulfur gas to get the materials. The materials needed are a potent sap pouch from a mandrake, a spittle pouch from a basilisk, and a poison sack from a scorpion. When you've collected all the fragments, find the chapel hidden in the town. Apparently, there's a special synthesizer there. There's a clue in the lyrics. Let's fuse the hot fragments. Three, two, one. The golem wakes up when you combine the heart. I don't know what it means exactly, but it sounds important.
My, are you all right? I'm Sienna Parsons, a wizard from the Resistance. I heard about you from headquarters. Oh. Such skill. You must be very strong to fight off all those Archeum soldiers on your own. The good news is we were able to protect the Golem's heart Thanks to you. Hmm? That purple light. You... have a star fragment, right? It sounds more like a predetermined turn of events than a coincidence. Power eventually finds its master. Here. This new power should come in handy. Your power will now react with the sealed golem's heart. Perhaps the power of the seal stone can be used in the Titan Rage ruins. I intended to destroy the hidden golem's heart so that it would not fall into Archeum's hands. But I never imagined the one who revived the heart would actually absorb its power. This seems like fate. I hope you use your power justly. Oh, by the way, that person Henderson you met was a comrade of mine. We've gone on many adventures together. Now we're all busy doing our own things. But I'll always consider him a precious friend. There are a few things I couldn't give him when he left the Resistance. Would you mind passing them on to him? Thank you. I hid them in an old bag near the Titan Rage ruins. It's going to be hard to see him for a while since I'm busy with the constant provocations of the Archeum Legion. Please give him my best regards. Take care!
Oi ho, friend! You won't see this merchandise anywhere else. Strong in peace, big bitch. It's been more than ten years since I touched this hood. Back in those days, I wasn't afraid of monsters or the Archeum Legion. <laughs> Justice, danger, and the thrill of adventure. That's all I cared about! Ah. Let us drink some beer. Drink it all, all it's here. Raise a glass high for the victory to us! Through the hot desert, we got the treasure. After the sandstorms, we caught the column's heart in our hand. It's in our hands. <laughs> the foolish tyrant was blinded by his greed. Our strategy worked to give us what we need. Let us go on our way to get us the column's heart. Even the sandstorms won't keep us from treasure. Nothing can stop us from mighty adventure. <laughs> yes, it's true. Giant rocks in the sand do what we command. Our song will open its heart just like we planned. Through the land of the damned, filled with monsters, we will seek them to the end of this world. <laughs> Let's go on an adventure! Pieces of the heart. Three, two, one! Column will rise when the pieces are combined! Tear down the ramparts! Destruction to it all! Cheer the joy in the plaza will be heard around the world! Around the world! <laughs> Thank you very much, my friend. I got everything back thanks to you. If you ever stop by the Vienta Sanctum, take a look at the tower we constructed when we were in the Resistance. We built up the tower little by little, adding to it whenever we completed another odyssey. <laughs> I thought I would never be able to sing that song again. But thanks to you, it's been reborn in my heart. Thank you.
Thanks to you, I'm thinking of making a new song with the adventures I remembered. I'm going to write an exciting song thinking about my activities while in the resistance. I'll let you hear it first, so make sure to stop by again. <laughs> Sienna Parsons, Henderson Harmon, and Louis Hazen, we three vow to liberate Stoneguard, to protect those who suffer from the tyranny of Lord Fernan. As a show of faith, whenever we achieve something towards that goal, we will add a stone to a pile here as proof. As a pile of stones will someday become a tall tower, Stoneguard will one day be freed, and then we will start a new journey in search of our dreams. Until then, we are determined to become one and fight against evil. Sienna, Henderson, and Louis. Fernan, the Lord of Stoneguard, who colluded with Archeum, exploited the inhabitants and ruled over them with an iron fist. The resistance raided and seized the Fernan Archeum's army's cargo and distributed it among the people. One day, an extraordinary girl and two dwarves came to visit Fernan. The girl said that if she received funding, she would use it to find a legendary stone called the Heart of the Ancient Golem, build a giant golem, and subdue the resistance. Though originally filled with doubt, Vernon ended up giving her a substantial sum after watching her golem's performance. The girl's company unraveled the secret of the monolithic boulder. Along the way, a rock struck Henderson and rendered him unconscious. Although they were chased by Chernobog and braved many perilous adventures, in the end, they acquired the stone. After completing the giant golem, the girl made Vernon dance in a huge chest and chant a spell, explaining that it was a ritual that would bind him to the golem, making him its owner. Vernon emerged from the chest, and the giant golem broke down the gate. All at once, the resistance flooded in and captured the castle. The girl was revealed to be Sienna Parsons, a resistance member and genius engineer. Even now, when you visit Vienta Village, you can still hear tales of her adventures sung by Sienna's comrade-in-arms, Henderson Harmon.